and now the magician's next mind bender, using nothing more than a glass top table and this shiny coin. Take a good look at the coin. In fact, never take your eyes off the coin. The magician taps the bottom of the glass to prove that it's solid. Next, he taps the top and leaves the coin in the middle of the table. With one palm directly below the glass, the magician covers the coin with his other hand and here comes the magic bit. He removes his top hand and we can see that the coin has melted through the glass and is now in his palm. It's definitely on the other side of the glass. A cheap trick with a coin that is totally baffling. I love it. So how does the magician make the coin melt through the glass and end up on his open palm? The answer is so simple, you'll kick yourself. First, there are two coins, and they're not even real. They're actually made of steel as well. Before he starts the trick, the magician palms one of the fake coins in his left hand. He places the other coin on the solid glass table. The next secret involves the ring on his right hand. This ring holds a super strong magnet that's hidden under his fingers. That's why the fake coins are made of steel. They have to be for the magnet to work. When he holds the secretly palmed steel coin beneath the glass, he covers it with a magnet which is powerful enough to attract the steel through the glass. Now that the palmed coin is hidden from view, all that he has to do is slide it forward so that it's directly above his open palm. When he lifts his top hand and the ring away, the coin that's below the glass drops into his palm. At the same time, the steel coin on the top of the table is attracted to the magnet. It's all smoke and mirrors with this glass and coins. And that's how he makes a coin pass through solid glass. Coming up, the magician 